to intermediate uveitis describes inflammation inside the eye, which lies behind the lens inside the eye and in front of the retina. So your eye is effectively a bubble. And at the very front of your eye, you've got a lens which concentrates light as it shines towards the back of the eye. And if your inflammation is in front of that lens, but behind the cornea, the clear part of the eye at the front, that's anterior uveitis. And everything behind that is either intermediate or posterior uveitis. Posterior uveitis is really talking about inflammation in your retina or in the blood vessels behind the retina. So intermediate uveitis is mainly in the jelly in the middle of the eye. So most patients who have intermediate uveitis will present to us with floaters. So those are, I may be big, they may be small, they may look like spiders, they may change over time, but the floaters will be the main symptom. You may also have reduced vision due to all the inflammation inside the jelly in the eye, and you may get swelling of the retina, which will also reduce your vision as a result of that inflammation. So those are the main three things. Most patients with intermediate uveitis do not get pain or sensitivity to light. So intermediate uveitis is usually diagnosed by somebody who works in eye health. So that might be your optometrist or your ophthalmologist. I would say it's a relatively unusual condition and most optometrists would not feel comfortable giving that, that diagnosis themselves. So they would refer you to an ophthalmologist who may then refer you to someone like me who specializes in uveitis. And I would look inside your eye. I'd look at inflammation inside your eye. So that would be little white blood cells that have leaked out of the blood vessels inside the eye that are floating around. I do some scans of the eye to look at the blood vessels that go throughout the retina and go behind the retina to see if any of them are leaking or if you've got any evidence of um, something called a granuloma, which is basically a collection of, of inflammatory cells behind the retina. So intermediate uveitis is usually a chronic condition. So that means it doesn't just come and you give some treatment and it goes forever, but it's very easily managed. It's also often very mild. And so many patients with intermediate uveitis never have any treatment at all, and they're just monitored throughout their life to make sure that they don't develop any complications from it. So I would say that of all of the types of uveitis I look after, intermediate uveitis patients are often the ones that are not on treatment, which is good news. If you need treatment, then there are medical treatments, so eye drops like steroids and non-steroidal eye drops, which can reduce the inflammation. There are medications that we can put inside your eye, which slowly reduce the amount of inflammation and slowly dissolve inside the eye. So those are usually steroid pellets, which sometimes last for four to six months. And there are other longer lasting steroid pellets, which will last for up to three years. There's a surgical option where you remove the jelly inside the eye, which sounds invasive, but actually will work to clear all the floaters and kind of resets the amount of inflammation that's there and often really reduces it. There are many patients with intermediate uveitis who just have a vitrectomy, so that's surgery to remove the vitreous, the jelly inside the eye, and never need any further therapy. And finally, there are medicines that reduce the inflammation from inside your body, so that's medicines that I'd prescribe you to take by mouth or to take some injection under the skin that can also help reduce the amount of inflammation you have. So intermediate uveitis often can be left untreated. So patients may get floaters, they may get used to those floaters and not really notice anything at all. So there's a good proportion of patients in whom they can have untreated intermediate uveitis and that can be fine. I'd say it is important to get a diagnosis because some types of intermediate uveitis are associated with other problems inside the body. And one of the useful things about ophthalmology is that we can tell what's going on inside the body where other medical specialties may not really be able to. So often the eyes are a great clue to what's going on in, in the rest of you. So I would always encourage people to get a diagnosis. Some patients who have intermediate uveitis that may be a bit more severe would continue to get worsening floaters and would probably seek help at some point because the floaters were interfering with their you know, activities of daily living. And finally, patients that have such bad intermediate uveitis 
that their vision is reduced, again, will usually get help um, because they'll notice that they can't manage on a daily basis.